Look into my f***ing eyes, Darius Trucks and Keith Elwood from Gray's Road. I saw something so pathetic yesterday involving Darius Truxton. Like, it's every day something happens, which confirms in my mind that little queefers at 2772 Smell Manor, smelling like cat piss 24-7, is the biggest loser on planet Earth. First of all, yesterday was a Friday night. Most people go out, hang out, you know, they do something with the family. What did a queefy boy do? Stream for four hours like a cock playing Johnny Turbo's Arcade, where the hell that is. Four hours on a Friday night. That's somebody that has no life. That's somebody that has no money to go out and actually explore. Four hours on a Friday night streaming is somebody like Queefy Boy with no car. He's in his mid-40s and has never driven a car in his goddamn life. Can't afford a car now because the guy works on friggin' government assistance and welfare part-time. He waits for friggin' Apple One Agency to give his friggin' pays go phone a call to get his sorry carcass out of the cat piss smelling mattress and head on over to some warehouse in East Hamilton downtown and clean turds out of urinals, which you're gonna be doing, Queefy Boy, for the rest of your life. It's, you had an opportunity to become a good dishwasher at Boston Pizza, didn't you, right? Go there and wash dishes like a good little teenager on minimum wage. But instead, since you're such a creep, Darius Truxton, you're sitting there hiding behind the friggin' pillar in the dining area of Boston Pizza, staring at the server's black leggings. And I believe it, because not only did Alpha Nerd come out with a video saying that same man-child behavior on the daily with your, your slushy talks, you're just so weird, guy. Thing. Then Candace came out with a video saying the exact same thing. And then he got fired for that, Queefy boy. You're an idiot. You're, si you're sitting there in your little friggin' smell manor on your premium futon that also smells like cat piss. Sitting there sending friggin' unsolicited D-pics to friggin' Candace. She found out it was you, moron, because your stupid little friggin' Eminem haircut, your chinless from one angle, double chin from another angle, and then she saw the Genesis games in the goddamn background and found out it was you. That's a friggin' big L in your life, Queefy boy. The same type of L you took when friggin' Level 1 Online came on here and got you fired from Frank Lampire. How did that one feel, prick? That's what I thought, Queefy boy. So back to the story. Queefy Boy is streaming. This is this is how pathetic. This is what was so pathetic. First of all, when it, when there's ever a Queefy Boy stream, I wait for the replay. I go to the beginning before he starts playing to see if he's talking smack. Skip all the gameplay because all he's gonna do there is freaking cry about wrestling and freaking fantasize about LA Knight and Speedos while bending him over on the premium futon. And then at the end of the stream, when he stops playing, I listen there. That's what I do. I find out he's talking smack. So then at the end of the stream, the guy's streaming for four hours and something so pathetic. I, I, I can't believe it. On a Friday night streaming four hours, DJ Rudden was there from the beginning. From the beginning. So I'm going to ban you, okay? So you have to answer us or I'll kick you out. Beginning till the end, watching Queefy Boy. And then at the end of the stream... DJ Rudden is asking Queefy Boy to help him in Final Fantasy XI, set him up with some items or whatever like this and that. And then Queefy Boy is like, yeah, yeah, don't worry, DJ Rudden. After a bit, I'm going to help you out in Final Fantasy XI. That's another friggin' two hours spent on a Friday night. All day, DJ Rudden literally spent his whole day thinking about Queefy Boy. Meanwhile, his wife's getting Tyroned. Are they even together? Does anyone even know? Is DJ Rudden and his wife still together? Like, what's going on here? Are they in an open relationship where DJ Rudden's a cock while his wife can go out and friggin' bang any other male out there? This is ridiculous. So four hours spent on a live stream, Queefy Boy. And after that, you're gonna spend another two hours with DJ Rudden in a friggin' personal conversation helping him in Final Fantasy XI. That's six hours on a Friday night, Darius Truxton. That means you have no life, no job, no car, no friends, no social life, no girlfriend. You make up some stupid story, Darius Truxton, that you're going out with some imaginary girlfriend with two kids, going through a divorce, this and that. Meanwhile, you're sitting there like a cuck and you expect us to believe on YouTube that you are you have an imaginary girlfriend, right? Going all this personal problem and she's gonna come over to- Darius Truxton, Keith, is a sexual predator. He preys on women. He preys on the reaction. I guess he feels powerful in doing this to women. I don't know. A smell manner on her own gas expense, on her own gas mileage, on her own time, head over to you 
where she's going to knock on your door. And then you're going to be greeted with some chinless queef who's saying, hey, thanks a lot for coming over. Let's eat some TV dinners for dinner. Ridiculous. All these stories don't add up. It's just Darius Truxton is so pathetic to the point when he knew that the Candace story of the D-Pics was going to come out soon. What did Queefy Boy do? He made up a story that there's some imaginary girl named Holly who Darius Truxton sent his D-Pics to in the past. And since Holly and Darius Truxton are no longer together or they had a fight, Holly's pissed off, found Candace, and now Holly and Candace are conspiring to freaking make it look like, like Queefy Boy sending unsolicited D-Pics. That is the stupidest story I've ever heard in my goddamn life. I don't believe you, Queefy Boy. Everything you spew out is lies, Queefy Boy. The same way you said that Slotham doesn't bother you. Meanwhile, you're freaking banning the word Slotham from your live chat. You say Slotham doesn't bother you. Meanwhile, you're crying to Team YouTube on Twitter, taking a screenshot of my video page, trying to get it taken down and flagged. You're a coward, Darius Truxton. You wanted that smoke? Here's that smoke. That hostile. <laughs> Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. You wanted to control my comment section? Well, here you go. Here I am, front line and center, calling you out, Queefy Boy. What are you going to do about it? Nothing. You're a coward. You're a piece of trash. You have lost the war. You have lost the battle. Your whole friggin' army stabbed you in the back. You had a bunch of incels in your trucks and army, like Albert Menencuck. Some five foot two shrimp prancing around the streets of Florida like a shirtless prick, chain smoking cigarette butts he finds off the ground, then heads over at the back of friggin' Jollibee's, boxes that raccoon in the dumpster, steals that blueberry muffin, then heads on over to some other place where there's a friggin' flaming steel trash can barrel that he uses as a campfire to cook roadkill, and then after that heads on over to Florida Everglades where a stupid blue tent is configured with hobo sticks and shoelace strings. That's your army members second in command Darius Truxton and he stabbed you in the back you stabbed him in the back you're all a bunch of losers you're all a bunch of cucks you got Chief Debo friggin Queen Debo Chief Debbie piece of garbage calls himself a tough guy a gangster meanwhile he blocks me from seeing his messages how are you a tough guy Chief Debo if you're blocking me from seeing your messages are you that scared of getting roasted are you that scared of getting called out are you that scared of being pointed out as a cuck the same way you cuck to Cyan Razor Cell after Cyan that genetic freak with a chin like Buzz Lightyear aka Cyan Sergeant Slaughterjaw made a stupid short saying Debo is my friend Debo is my friend but freaking dumped Albert Menendez to go over to freaking Detroit in section 8 housing and bend over Chief Debo that's what's going on there and then you got freaking Flat Earth Video Gamer hey Flat Earth didn't you say that you're gonna private privatize your channel within 24 hours why do are you gonna do it was it past bedtime of your house Slot him. I still see your channel why do I still see your stupid little channel here with your dumb little friggin' hobgoblin nose, all right, and your 400 pound fat Estella wife with a mask and a haircut who's 400 pounds older than you, feeding you friggin' two pounds of friggin' cheese every night? Why is your channel still here? No one cares, Flat Earth Video Gamer. You're a loser. You always were a loser. You came on friggin' YouTube and then we found out you got evicted from your home. You, okay, you married a Stella who's already ugly and fat and then already has a kid with a previous uh, person, a uh, guy. Are you kidding me? You go from a 1.5 out of 10 Estella to a 1 out of 10 now that she even has a previous child. You are so desperate, uh, friggin' James Campbell. It's pathetic. It's actually pathetic. No wonder now you want to go over to Smell Manor and bend over the friggin' futon for Darius Truxton. No wonder you're secretly sexually attracted to Darius Truxton, the same way Ricardo Cody is. Some idiot Ricardo Cody friggin' leaves his friggin' daughter in Brazil when she was five years old, comes over to America to shove NES cartridges up his behind that he finds at the friggin' flea market. Meanwhile, he says he's sending money back home for his daughter's education, and at the same time, his best friend in Brazil is friggin' marrying his ex-wife how did that one feel huh ricardo you are a bitter 
crippled man. That's what you are. You hate all women now. You've clearly in the closet. You have a stupid sticker of Batman and Superman kissing on your stupid front table. And what's your excuse? Oh, I want to create a reaction out of people. No, you're in the closet. You're with three roommates bending you over every single night so you can pay rent, Ricardo Cody. You have lost the channel of 18 years because you wanted to be added into rotation. And then now you're crying saying you're done with the drama, leave you alone when you're the one begging to be in the drama and add into rotation. Shut up. You're a piece of trash. Darius Truxton, you're a loser. And you're going to get freaking roasted tomorrow on Slothum's Inferno 666 at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time, you prick. Going on, everybody. Welcome back to another video. And, uh, just saw that Mortal Kombat movie the other night there. 